service tonight, ang ating pong midweek service. At uh, kayo po ay aming inaniyahan na samahan po kami sa gawain po ngayong gabi ito sa ating pong uh, midweek service prayer meeting. Kung kayo po ay meron mga prayer requests, ang inyong mga prayer list, uh, please uh, uh, send us your prayer request and later on we will pay your prayer request. So please continue to pray for one another, especially our work, our uh, church activities every Wednesday, every Wednesday, every Saturday, uh, every Sunday. And please don't forget to include in your prayer time our upcoming uh, church uh, anniversary the Maranatha International Baptist Church of Maragundon. So we're going to celebrate our 30th anniversary. This coming Saturday, our speaker on Saturday night, 7 p.m., Pastor Jody Cor from the Salinas Bible Baptist Church. And to and, uh, Sunday, September 6th, we have uh, two speakers, Pastor Adona and, of course, He's our host pastor, a pastor, a senior pastor ng Maranatha International Baptist Church. He, siya po yung ating host pastor, of course, ang ating guest speaker, Pastor Darren Miller from Maranatha Baptist Church, McAllen, Texas, USA. So please do watch, uh, please watch and join with us as we celebrate God's faithfulness for 20 years of God's faithfulness in our service. And po sa Maragundon, uh, Kabite. So please join with us tonight and please don't forget to pray for us as we uh, and that our worship service tonight is our prayer meeting. So in a few minutes, we will start our prayer time, our prayer meeting. Sa pamamagitan ng mga audience. So magandang gabi sa inyo lahat, and God bless us all. Amen, good evening church. Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. Welcome to our prayer meeting service. Tayo po ay mas tayo, tumawit po tayo ng isang meeting para po sa ating panginoon. I just keep casting my Lord po ang kanto mo po. Amen, let us all sing. I just keep casting my Lord. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk alone. I just keep trusting my Lord and He keeps us so. The souls must dark in the sky or the heavenly train. I just keep trusting my Lord. He will never fail. Good friend, such a faithful friend, I can count on it to the very end, though the storms of service dream, I just keep trusting my Lord. Trusting my Lord on the narrow way. I just keep trusting my Lord as He leads each day. Though the road is weary at times and I'm sad and blue, I just keep trusting my Lord. He will see me through. Walking by my side through the 
Despite of the, the pain, the struggle, still we believe that God is in control. Amen. So magandang magandang ibig po sa inyo lahat, lahat ng kapatiran po namin sa Tabernacle of Faith Baptist Church. 
mission dito sa Nai Cavite. Maraming maraming salamat for you, to all of you, to join us tonight for our service. I know there's a, a lot of things to do, but I believe spending the time, spending time with us is really a great blessing. And we believe that God is something, uh, you work something new for your lives today. So please, stay tuned, watch us, and please send your prayer request. And later on, we will pray for that. And of course, our dear brethren from Maranatha International Baptist Church, who is present right now. I can't able to name you one by one, but I'm sure, for sure, God, God, God sees you and God knows that you are with us, joining with us tonight to celebrate the goodness and kindness of God in our lives. And these are very kindly for us to come to the Lord together and pray together in one accord and leave up our, all, all our prayer requests, our heartache, our problems, and even the situation that we have, we know that's why thank you so much for being with us tonight MIBC Maradondon Cavite and of course our dear pastor Pastor Adona Ramiro Adona and his family thank you so much my pastor for being with us tonight and of course let's continue to pray for us for the celebration for the plan of celebration of our 20th anniversary this coming Saturday and Sunday please join us in, in, in live streaming and of course dito po sa ating pong present uh, celebration. Please come and join with us and celebrate the goodness and kindness of God and His faithfulness to, the Mar to Maranatha International Baptist Church of Marugutan. Salamat po, Pastor Adona, for your heart, for your, your love upon the words of God in that day of Marugutan. Of course, I would uh, like to also to greet our brethren, my friends, my relatives, and my loved ones who are now present in live streaming. Of course, yung mga kaibigan ko, yung mga, mga kaibigan na mga kapatid ko, relatives ko, and of course, Thank you so much sa lahat po ng inyong pakikiisa po ngayon gabi nito. And I'm sure, if you uh, stay tuned in our service tonight, I'm sure God will do something for your life. Amen. And I know, I know, meron pong gagawin ng Diyos sa buhay po natin. That's why I want to like, like to greet you. Good evening and God bless you all. Of course, our sister church from different places, 8,000 miles away from Maranatha Baptist Church, McAllen, Texas, USA, Pastor Darrell Miller and brethren of Maranatha. Uh, Baptist Church, McAllen, Texas, USA. Happy birthday to Sister Arnel and Lily. She's celebrating her birthday last day, yesterday, I think. And of course, Sister Arian Quinto is also celebrating her birthday last, last day. So thank you so much, my dear sister. Please continue to pray for one another. And of course, our brethren from different places, uh, Leticia from Mexico, Sister Marta from uh, McAllen, Texas, USA, uh, Pastor uh, Ashley Williams, uh, Richard Jaime Reyes, and then Lily, uh, Scotty DeHart, uh, Brother Mario, Sister Evelyn Ramos, and of course, all of our brethren from Maranatha Baptist Church, McAllen, Texas, USA. Sister uh, Emily Brown from Seattle Baptist Church, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And of course, our dear brethren from, uh, from uh, Colorado Springs, Sister Tess, and Sister Kathy and Shano. And I think, uh, please continue to pray for, for both of these ladies. And of course, especially to, to Sister uh, Tess, she's looking for a, a job, a perfect job for her. And please continue to pray na tawagan na siya na kanyang uh, ina-applyan. Of course, Sister Kathy, God bless all uh, sa inyong dalawa niya at sa Colorado Spirit. Of course, other uh, brethren from Nicosia, from uh, Japan, Hong Kong, Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Nanay Elsie Bagnes, birthday ba niya? Oh, kasi nakalagay, happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for being with us, your faithfulness, Sister Maricar Tijano. Thank you so much, Daniel Ibanto. And so on and so forth, all our brethren from Kingdom Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much, brethren, for your faithfulness. And of course, our dear brethren from different, different places in the Philippines, marami marami salamat po sa lahat po ng inyong pag-join sa gabi nito. Nawa, pagpalahin po tayo ng Panginoon, lahat po tayo ay magkaroon at magmakasumpo sa pangako ng Diyos mula sa kanyang salita ng buhay. Maraming maraming salamat. And of course, I'd like to greet all my brethren, my, my relatives, Kia Patrick Bakir. He's present right now. Thank you so much. And Bakir family, yan po sa Katarungan, Montelupa. And of course, my family, Remogat Marquez, De La Cruz, ah, De La Cruz, yes, uh, De Rosario, uh, Tahantahan, Victorio. Of course, lahat po ng mga Nabarak clan, Remogat clan, uh, Marquez clan. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. And please continue to, to pray for one another. Sana po, sama-sama po tayo hanggang sa ang pandemya na ito ay totally mawala na in God's will, in God's time. In so maraming maraming salamat po for joining us tonight. Let us all stand up. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray, Father God in heaven, we thank you. Salamat Panginoon sa pagkat ngayong gabi nito, we are celebrating the goodness and kindness of our Lord Jesus Christ, a true living God. 
Salamat Panginoon for all the singing, for all the prayers, and of course, Lord God, the presence of each and everyone who is right now here. And of course, those people who are watching right, right now, Lord God, sa live streaming, thank you so much. Father God, forgive us for all the sins that we meet in against you. Patawad Panginoon, alam po namin na hindi po ito nakalulugod, but I know, Lord God, through dying the cross, salamat Panginoon sa pagkat na matay ka para sa amin. Father God, we thank you and we praise you. Magpalain mong bawat sa, gawain mo sa oras na ito, ikaw ang mangunat mo mga sa aming Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat sa aming pagkapatuloy na gawain ito. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen. Please remain standing, let's continue for singing. Tawag ko natin, preacher, 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 sure, but, uh, wala na pala, please be seated, special number. So, Ryan, we're happy to have you. Thank you so much. Pastor Sally Guerrero, congratulations for your 10th anniversary. Get some money back to church. Let us sing a song for a special number.
Somebody's knocking on heaven's door. Somebody's praying for me. Somebody's lifting me up to the Lord. Amen. Well, I knew it had to be somebody down on their knees. Somebody praying for me. Look up to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother Michael. Somebody's praying for me. Prayer meeting. <laughs> Thank you so much for the wonderful special. By the way, church, I would like to uh, to ask your prayer and your petition, I mean, especially your prayer for Pastor Gar Miller. Uh, please pray for his family, especially Pastor Gar Miller, because his mom that my he so was in the Lord right now. I was in the body presence with the Lord. Amen? Amen. That is our confidence with the Lord. Even though there's a pain, but we believe God is good. Now, grandma is no more pain. No more pain. Sa kanya po. But uh, please continue to pray for, for, his, for, the, for the family, Miller. And uh, like for the uh, it's not easy for them to accept right now because they're still very pain. But uh, I know Pastor Dar Miller uh, uh, is a, a good, means a great encouragement for us that despite of situation that uh, he has right now, he's very confident you know, that God is in control. Amen. Amen. God is here. So please continue to pray for Pastor Dara Miller and the Miller family and Miller family. So nawa sila ito ba yan ng Especially si Grandpa Clayton uh, and uh, Uncle George and the Miller family and the Miller family. Pag-pray po natin sila. Amen? Amen. And uh, once again, welcome to our prayer meeting. Mamaya, isama po natin sa prayer po you are. So welcome to our prayer meeting. To those who are watching right now, thank you so much for being with us tonight. And I hope and pray that you will be blessed, be blessed for our message today. So uh, I'd like also to greet uh, si, uh, yung aking uh, dating uh, kaibigan from HCG. Dato si, uh, si, nakalimutan ko na pa. <laughs> Kanina na gay siya eh. Si, uh, mamaya babadiin po natin sila. Thank you so much. Let us open our Bible. We are in the series of study of Book of Psalms. Okay? This is not a chronological study of Book of Psalms. Whatever the message of God has led me to me in the Book of Psalms, pag-aaralan po natin ngayon. And now, we are now focusing the study in Book of Psalms, ito particularly in Psalm chapter 55, verses 22 to 23. Psalm 55, verses 22 to 23. Let's all stand up to give reverence from the Word of God. Let us read together with a lovely voice. Kung meron po kayong Biblia sa inyo ngayong tatahanan, samahan niyo po kami ngayon na magbasa po ng Biblia. No? Basahin po natin ang ating mga Biblia. Psalms, Psalm 55 verses 22 to 23. Beginning verse 22, let's read together. The Bible says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer and the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Gladly and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. You know, this is a statement of the king of David uh, in times of trouble of his life, in times of burdens of his life. So, alam niya kung anong gagawin niya. Alam ni King David, what will be the, the protocol, what will be the the, the, the program of his life for him to be able to overcome the situation that he had during that time. That's why this is a very big question for us. What to do with our burdens today? The title of our message today is What to do with our burdens today? We will see here from the Word of God in Psalms 55 verse 22 to 23 the, the ingredients, the formula, and the secret for us to overcome and to engage or to, to, to manage or to deal with our burdens in our lives today. 
Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Father God in heaven, we thank you. Bless us, Father God, as we study your words. Help us, Father God, that we be able to understand what is the better message of your words today in our lives, especially in Psalms 22, Psalms 25, verses 22 to 23, in regards with our burdens. Thank you, Father God, for these words, Lord God, the verses that you have given us, the scriptures, Lord God, that you've given to us today, Lord God. Help us, Father God, that we be able to understand this. And ikaw ang makita sa aming kalagitnaan, hindi ang sino man o maging ako man, Lord God, kundi ikaw lamang Panginoon ang siyang makita sa aming mga buhay. Salamat o Diyos ngayong gabi ito sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. amen. Please be seated. be seated. What to do with our burdens today? That is a very big question in our life. Anong gagawin po natin ngayon? Kung kayo po o tayo po o ako po ay merong burdens na dinadanas sa ating mga buhay po ngayon. You know, according to the news, no, marami ngayon ang tumatawag ngayon sa Philippine uh, psycholo sa mga psychology, psychology in regards of the situation, ang daming mga tao ngayon na nahihirapan i-deal yung sitwasyon po natin ngayon because of pandemic. Because of the new normal. Ang daming na i-stress, ang daming mga anxiety na nag-pop up, ang daming mga, mga problema. So, this situation, we are familiar with this kind of burdens in our lives. Amen? We may have family burdens or we may have financial burdens. Kasi sa family burdens, ito ngayon, nangyari kay Pastor Darrell, her, God, her mom uh, passed away. How can we deal that? That's a big burden for us. As you can see, no, mahirap po mawalan po ng mahal sa buhay. Siguro, ganun din po yung sitwasyon po ng mga tao ngayon na nawalan po ng kanilang mahal sa buhay because of the COVID. And maybe, because of the, the, the infection that their loved ones are now go, uh, passing, uh, going through, medyo nahihirapan sila how to deal this kind of burdens in their lives. Okay. Kapag nagpunta kayo ng hospital ngayon, sa panahon po ngayon, ang daming mga senaryo na makikita mo doon na parang ang hirap-hirap i-deal yung ganong uri ng burdens. You know, one of my friends, you know, imagine lahat ibinibenta niya and they're looking for the hospital for them to ingan lang anak eh, para ma maoperahan ng appendix sa appendix niya, no? Ang hirap po because ang daming protocol na gagawin, they need to undergo the rapid test, they need to go the swabbing test procedure for them to be accepted uh, be accepted sa, sa, sa loob ng hospital. Ang dami pong burden na dapat natin pagdaanan. We may have family burdens, we may have financial burdens. Nowadays, we are now experiencing, we are now dealing with financial burdens. Maraming mga nawala ng trabaho. Maraming na retrench. Maraming mga tao ngayon na talagang uh, hirap na hirap na ngayon sa kanilang pamumuhay and they need financial, financial assistance. Did you imagine that? Or maybe we may have burden related to fears. May mga tayo kabigatan o mga pag-alala patungkol po sa takot. Lalo po ngayon, ano? Ang takot po ngayon, it affects our emotional and psychological situation. Kapag natakot ka na, no? Parang ayaw mo nang mangarap. Pag nagkaroon ka na ng takot sa buhay mo, fear sa buhay mo, parang ayaw mo nang magpatuloy ng iyong buhay. So natatakot ka na kung ano yung mga bagay. Ayaw mo, matatakot ka na ngayon magkasakit. Kasi baba, pag nakasakit ka, sabihin, may COVID ka. No, ito yung mga burdens na very familiar po sa ating mga buhay. But you know, our burdens have not taken God by surprise. Ang lahat po ng burdens po natin po ito ay hindi po ito nangyayari po sa atin at hindi po ito surprise sa Panginoon na meron po tayong burdens. Did you understand what I'm talking about? This is a great anchor for our faith. Sa mga siman, alam niyo yung anchor? No? It, anchor, ito yung paninagay mo para hindi gumalaw yung barko. And this situation that we have right now, this burden, this is a great anchor for our faith. Ito yung magiging, uh, magiging sandata natin, magiging paraan natin, magiging way natin para yung faith mo at yung faith ko ay may exercise natin para sa Panginoon. You know, our tomorrows are known to God before they arrive. Alam ng Diyos yan kung ano yung magiging future mo. Hindi, alam mo, ang, ang isang challenge po sa atin, whatever it might be, kung tayo po maging infected o hindi infected, kung tayo magkasakit o mag, hindi magkasakit, kung tayo man ay maghirap o hindi maghirap, but we believe that God has already known our tomorrow. 
He already prepared our future. What we're going to do right now is to hold on and keep on keeping on in regards with our faith. Kailangan natin magpatuloy. Kailangan natin umayon sa nais ng Diyos sa buhay natin. What to do with our burdens? Let us always find solutions. And the solution to our problems are awaiting of our acceptance. Acceptance of what? Number one, yung invitation ng Panginoon dito sa scripture na binasa po natin. Ang magiging solution po sa ating problema, we must accept the great invitations of God in our lives. God's great invitation. Sabi ng Bible dito sa Psalms 55 verse 22, Cast thy burdens upon the Lord. Church, my friend, if you're now in a situation of struggling, or you're struggling, I mean, you're now in the, struggling with your life today, or you are experiencing or engaging with the problems, or maybe you are sick, or maybe you are in a situation of parang feeling more terminal, why not you to cast your burden upon the Lord? This is the invitation of the Lord for us. We can cast our burdens on the Lord. Amen? Amen. You know, church, my friend, who's listening right now, pwede po natin ilagak po ang lahat po ng ating kabigatan sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. And God is waiting to receive all our trials and temptations. And that is the promise of God. If you cast out or cast our burdens unto the Lord, the Lord is waiting for us and willing to receive all our burdens, all our trials. Huwag kang sarilihin ang iyong problema. Huwag mong sarilihin ang iyong pinagdadaanan sa buhay mo. Huwag mong sarilihin ang kabigatan sa buhay mo. Napakahira po niyan para sasabihin mo, ako na lang ba ang nag-iisa? No, hindi ka nag-iisa. You are not alone. Sabi nga ni Michael Jackson. You are not alone. You are not alone because God is available. He is always available. And He is waiting. He is waiting to receive all our trials and temptations. Let this be a reminder, a reminder for us. Remember, God's love is stronger than any enemy we face. In our lives. Amen. Mas malakas po ang pag-ibig ng Diyos at ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon ay higit na makapangyarihan at ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay higit na mas malakas sa anumang kalaban na ating kinahaharap sa lugar at sa pagkakataon nito. In times like this, even though our enemies cannot be seen, but God's love is stronger than kind of enemies in our lives. Ang kahirapan, ang kalungkutan, ang kasakitan o anumang bagay sa mundong ito na parang feeling mo ang hirap-hirap ng pagpananunan, ang hirap-hirap palagpasan, ang hirap-hirap ma-overcome. But remember this, God's love is stronger than enemy, any enemy we face in our lives today. So the question is, why then should we worry? Bakit tayo kailangan matakot? If God's love or God's love is stronger than any enemy we face in our lives. Church, my friend, no trial has overcome a believer yet. Wala pang mga pagsubok na hindi po napaglagpasan ng mananampalataya kay Kristo. He overcame it. God overcame it this. That's why the Bible says, and this verse inviting us to trust the Lord with all our hearts and all our minds. And this point number one reminds us that let us cast thy burdens upon the Lord. That's why it is our choice. If this word reminding reminds us that we must cast or we can cast our burdens upon the Lord, Gusto mo bang tanggapin ang great invitation ng Panginoon na ito in times like this? If you are in trouble, what to do without, with your burdens today? Ang kailangan mong gawin, 
accept the great invitation of God into your life. We can cast our burdens unto the Lord. Amen. Point number two, the solution to our problems na naghihintay po sa atin, not only to accept God's great invitation, but let us always remember that God's blessed boundaries for believers. There is a blessed boundaries for believers. Meron pong pinagpalang hangganan para po sa mga mananampalataya. It means, meron pong pag-iingat, meron pong pagsusubaybay, meron pong pagliligtas, at meron pong pag-iingat ang Diyos sa iyo at sa akin. In times like this, we believe that God is with us. God protects us. And God guides us. The Bible says in verse 22, Cast thy burden upon the Lord and He shall sustain thee. Amen. Church, if you read the word, bakit ka mag-worry? Yung pain na nararamdaman mo, yung takot na nararamdaman mo, yung family problem mo, yung financial burdens mo, yung burdens related to fears, and even the family burdens, the Bible is very clear. And sabi niya, and He shall sustain thee, He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Wow! What a promise of God! God blessed boundaries for believers. My friend, why not you to consider God's boundary of love in your life? Niligtas ka ng Panginoon na matay si Kristo that a very great act that God has done in His life when He died on the cross for you. Tapos nagkaroon ka lang ng problema, nagkaroon ka lang ng kakulangan, nagkaroon ka lang ng burden sa buhay mo, gusto mo nang sumuko, na parang feeling mo nag-iisa ka na. You are not alone. God is Emmanuel. Amen. He is with us. Why not you to consider God's boundary of love into your life? You know, my friend, every trials must pass through these blessed boundaries. Lahat po nang ito ay kaya po natin magpalagpasan sa biyaya at pagpapala ng Panginoon. It is all about the grace of God. This blessed boundaries is a blessing from the Lord. It is by grace of God in our lives. And we were able to overcome and pass through this kind of trials in our life if you believe that God's blessed boundaries is true into your life. Kaya nung babasahin mo lang ang mga salitang ito, nako, at hindi mo pangahawakan, walang saysay po ang salita ng Diyos sa buhay ko natin. But if you believe that the Bible says, ang sabi niya, and He shall not sustain, and He shall sustain thee, Church, my friend, in times like this, kayang isustain ng Diyos ang buhay mo. And ang sabi niya pa, He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Hindi niya hayaan na maghirap po ikaw at ako sapagat ikaw ay nasa ilalim ng blessing, nasa ilalim ng hanggana ng Panginoon na kaya niya pag-ingatan. Remember, my friend, God's boundary of grace. Can you imagine that? Hanggang saan ang hangganan ng biyaya ng Diyos? Have you ever to measure that? Can you measure that kind of boundaries na meron pong biyaya ang Diyos? Hindi mo kayang sukatin ang grasya ng Diyos. You get able to measure the grace of God in your life. At kaya gawin ng Diyos yan, lahat ng imposible, lahat ng mga bagay na hindi ka panipaniwala, ay kaya gawin ng Diyos yan sapagat ang biyaya at awa ng Diyos, ang kanyang grasya. Ang nakaroon ng grasya? Grasya, ang Mexican word yan. Eh. Biyaya. We cannot measure the grace of God. Because you believe in the Lord, the Lord of God. Don't forget God's boundary of compassion. Yung compassion ng Panginoon, hindi mo rin kaya tawaran. Ang tagal ng compassion? 
awa. At nakikita ng Diyos kung paano siya nagkaroon ng compassion sa mga taong Israel, sa mga taga-Israel. He heard the affliction. He, seen, he saw the affliction and he heard the, 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 the cry of these people. It's the same thing in our lives today. God knows and God hear your cry. Amen. That's why we can able to comprehend, even though we can able to, to measure yung boundary po ng compassion ng Diyos sa ating mga buhay. That's why we need to expect. Let us expect God's boundaries of blessing to keep you and I in a safe position. Kung ikaw ay naniniwala sa God's boundary of grace and even in God's boundary of compassion, let us expect God's boundaries of blessing to keep you safe. Kahit sa tingin natin, napakadelikado po ng panahon na ngayon, kahit sa tingin po natin, napakahirap na ma-overcome ang situation natin ngayon because there's a lot of limitation. Kung no, ka-share rin, no? Kaya ka sa Manila, there's a lot of limitation. But the most important thing is, the grace of God, the compassion of God, will keep us into a safe situation or position in our lives. That's why we need to believe, we must believe that God blessed boundaries for believers is true. We cannot measure how long, how deep and how high the love of God, the blessed boundaries of love of God for us Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. Why? Because the promise of God in times like this, He will sustain you. And He will not allow to suffer, even to move you by this situation of your life. That's why kung paano natin po ididil ang ating burdens po ngayon, what to do with our burdens today? Through our verse na binasa po natin, let us accept that God's invitation into our lives. And what is that invitation? Cast all cast, oh, sabi doon? Cast thy burden upon the Lord. Ibigay mo na sa Panginoon. That's the best thing that we can do to deal and to do with our burdens. Cast thy burdens unto the Lord. And believe, when you cast all your burdens unto the Lord, believe that God's blessed boundaries for you. And the promise of God that He will sustain you. Amen? Amen. And He will not allow to suffer the righteous to be moved. And that is the promise of God in our lives. Number three, what are we going to do with our burdens? Accept His invitation and believe His boundaries blessing, His blessed boundaries for believers and believe that God's maniwala po tayo in this third point how to do with our burdens. Believe that God's great mission is to cancel Satan's provision. Hindi bibigyan po ng permiso ng Panginoon para ikaw ay maging miserable ang buhay mo. God will not allow that. The Bible says, as I doon, He shall sustain you and He shall not. Ano sabi doon? Suffer you, He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. And verse 23 says, But thou, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Whosoever, even Satan, who trying to distract you, who trying to, 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 I mean, to, tagdoon, Guluhin ka, sirain ka, 
God will not allow and God will not give permission Satan to bring you down. But instead, as I will have known, God shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful man shall not live out of their days. Ito po ang sabi po ng Panginoon. That's why we need to receive, we need to, to, to accept. The solution to our problems today is what? Awaiting our acceptance to the Lord. Acceptance and believing that this kind of situation, the great mission of God, cancels Satan's permission. Church, my friend, we are safe in the arms of our loving Lord. Did you believe in that? Amen. The Lord will not permit Satan to distract you. God will not permit Satan to, to deceive you and to give your life become miserable. And when you trust the Lord, you are safe in the arms of our loving Lord. And that is the promise of God. Not only for me, not only for you, but for all of us who believe in Him. And we live in the circle of God's care. Do you believe in that? That you and I live in the circle of God's grace. Tayo po ay sa pangangalaga ng Panginoon. Always be remind, remember that that whatever problems that we have in our lives today, we are in the circle of God's care. And no enemy will be permitted to harm us. Amen? Amen. No enemy! Yun ang hirap po mawala ng mahal sa buhay. The pain, the agony. And sometimes Satan used this for us to what? To become experience a low moral and to be discouraged and to be disappointed. But God, that's the, the, the design of Panginoon for us. But the design of God in our lives, in spite of the situation of, like this, we need to be what? To become courageous. Maging matapang. Maging malakas. Become stronger. Even though we are experiencing problems, trials, and distraction in our lives today, we believe that God is in control. Amen. And no enemy will be permitted to harm us. Amen? Amen. The Bible says in Psalms 55, 23, Sabi God, But thou, O God, shall bring them down in the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out of their days. But I will trust in thee. You know, church, my friend, the question is, if you are in the arms of our loving Lord and you live in the circle of God's care and no one or not even enemy will be permitted to harm you, why should we worry? Bakit mo tayo nag-aalala? Hello? Bakit kailangan natin mag-alala? My friend, the psalmist statement of peace ang sabi niya, but I will trust in thee. In times like this, this is a very comforting statement that King David stated in his life for us that a statement of peace that he believed that if he trust the Lord, he will experience a peaceful life even in the midst of problems. Remember, God has a wonderful plan for us. That's why God's great mission cancel Satan's permissions. Claim it, believe in it, and trust the Lord for this. That the Satan's deception and plans to your life ay hindi magmamanifest 
hindi magwawagi because you are in the loving arms of our loving Lord. You will be take care of God's hand. And no enemy will be permitted to harm you. What to do with our burdens? Accept the God's great invitation. Cast thy burden unto the Lord. God's blessed boundaries for believers is true. That's why he will never, he will not give you permission, Satan, to do something with your life. That's our conclusion, sorry for tonight. Why still, many people are headed for destruction. Maybe they are thinking by on their own strength, depending by their own strength. Kaya ko to, kaya ko to. But the end of the day, they suffer. The end of the day, they commit themselves into suicide. Maraming po nangyayari po ngayon ngayon yan. Talo ngayong pandemic, nagatakot sila kasi hindi na sila makikita ng kanilang pamilya, hindi na sila infected na sila, and they committed, committed suicide. O maybe sa kahirapan, maybe sa kalungkutan. Why some are headed for destruction? But you know, as a Christian, he's a great reminder for us that great days await those who trust in the Lord. Amen? Meron po naghihintay na magandang biyaya ang Panginoon sa ating buhay kung ikaw at ako ay itiwala sa Panginoon. So what to do with our burdens today? Accept God's great invitation. Cast thy your burdens, thy burdens upon the Lord. And believe that the blessed boundaries of God for believers is true into your life. And claim that God's great missions cancels Satan's permission. My friend, my beloved Christian, brother in the Lord, remember that the Lord will never fail or forsake you. Trust Him. That's why the psalmist says, sabi niya rito sa uling talata, and I will trust the Lord. And I will trust in me. That is the bottom line. That is the very important statement na pwede natin sabihin po sa ating buhay. Ano mang pinagdadaanan niyo po ngayon? Kalungkutan man ito, kahirapan man ito, kabigatan man ito. What to do with our burdens today? Anong gagawin po natin ngayon sa ating burden, sa ating buhay ngayon? Church, my friend, magtiwala po tayo sa Panginoon. And God has something to do or miracle or design or plan na nakambaw po sa atin. Do not be particular or do not be subjective with your problems today. Do not dwell in a situation na parang feeling mo ang bigat-bigat na ng buhay mo at parang nag-iisa ka na. But rather, trust in the Lord. In all your heart. What to do with our burdens today? Trust the Lord. In all your heart. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Father God in heaven, we thank you. Salamat Panginoon sapagkat ngayong gabi ito we are able to understand the goodness and kindness the grace and compassion that you have in our lives the situation of like this Lord God we know kung sa sarili lang po namin lakas talino at galing Panginoon we cannot able to overcome this kind of situation that we have today siguro hindi namin kaya ang paglagpasan at hindi namin alam kung anong gagawin po namin sa aming mga kabigatan. But thank be to God because there is a word from your Bible who always reminds us that in times like this, 
in times of burdens, in times of problems, in times of trials, your great invitation upon us is to cast out or to cast thy burdens unto you. All our burdens, Father God, ay lagap namin sa iyo, Panginoon. Thank you, Father God, that you should never suffer your people and you're not allowed to be moved by this situation. Salamat, Panginoon, for your great, blessed boundaries for us. And thank you for not allowing Satan his mission to distract us, but brother, you preparing for us a great blessing in our lives, Father God. Salamat, Panginoon. Salamat, O Dios. We thank you, Father God, because we believe that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And thank you for that promise. I pray, Father God, for each and every one who are not suffering of some problems. Maybe it's physical problems, Lord God. They are suffering of some illnesses. We pray for them. Praying for the healing. Praying for the recovery. And also for the those people who are suffering emotionally. Because feeling nila parang wala na matutubuhan ang kanilang buhay but Lord I pray that they may find hope and peace sa iyo o Diyos that everything that we do nawa ay magbigay ng gloria sa iyo o Diyos even these burdens of ours for God that we experiencing right now let this be a reminder for us that we need to exercise our faith unto you. That through this burden become an anchor of our faith. That kahit mabigat Panginoon, we believe through this hindi kami makikilos ng anumang sitwasyon at hamon ng buhay. Because our God is our great God. Lord, help, help us, Father. Give us, Father God, an understanding and wisdom, even knowledge for us to be able to understand what is your great plan in our lives. Father, we thank you and we praise you. We pray for Pastor Dar Miller for the loss of his mother, Grandma Hazel. I know it's so painful, Lord God, but we believe, Lord God, that is a victory because Mother Hazel is now with you. Even he, she is absent in his body, in her body, but right now she is present with the Lord. And we're excited, Lord God, that one day we will meet, meet her again. Thank you, Father God, because you comfort and you comfort them. Radba Clayton and the Miller family. Thank you, Lord God, for your comfort. Pray, Lord and Father God, for our anniversary this coming Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. Help us, Father God, that we may be able to extend the blessing to other people, share with them the goodness and kindness and faithfulness of our Jesus Christ in Maranatha International Baptist Church. Through our Pastor Adona and the family, and the brethren of MIBC praying Father God for their lives bless them Father God all TFBC brethren whatever their prayer requests and their, and their uh, back, back in these prayers Lord God we pray Father God that you may meet them Father God in a most special way and even our viewers right now joining with us tonight Lord God I don't know their situation right now, Lord God. Hindi ko alam ang kanilang sitwasyon ng kanilang buhay. But one thing I am sure that whatever problems that they have in their lives, there is an answer from the Lord. 
for them to overcome this. And that is the grace and compassion of our Lord Jesus Christ. The source of peace, the source of strength, the source of hope. Whatever situation that we have right now, Lord God, we know that you are in control and God is in control of our lives. Father God, thank you. And even my brethren who's right now here, whatever the prayer that they're in mind, I pray that you may meet them, Father God, in the most special way. Thank you for their hearts. Thank you for their ministry. And thank you for their service. I know you are the one who's able to answer and to meet them. Whatever it is, let your will be done. Thank you, Father. We praise you and we thank you. What to do with our burdens? Trust in you. With all our hearts. And with all our minds. And with all our souls. Whatever burdens that we have, it is better to trust you. And we may even talk about this. Salamat, Panginoon. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank you so much, my friend, my brethren. Salamat po sa inyong lahat who is joining us tonight. And church, please continue to pray one another. If you have your prayer list, just send us here in our group chat. Uh, TFBC family, MIBC family. And of course, sa lahat po na, na, na nakikinig at nanonood po ngayon, you just send your prayer request po sa live streaming and we will pray. Katapusin na po namin ngayon ng live streaming but uh, tutuloy po namin ang aming panalangin huwag i-pray po namin ngayon dito sa sama-sama, silent prayer and if you have your special request just shout out, send us and we will pray together and let's continue to pray for one another pray for our Bible Institute this coming Friday 7, I think 7.30 was it? 7, 7 to 8.30 our subject, Baptist System Peeps and one of of course, yung ating pang uh, Bible theology, uh, Bible doctrine. So, pag-aaralan po natin yan. So, uh, I thank God for the partnership of Maranatha Baptist Church in Texas, USA, the, uh, uh, the Trinity uh, Baptist Seminary, and of course, yung uh, uh, Piedmon. And thank you so much, Pastor Adonna, for the initiative for, for this uh, uh, lesson ng ating graduate po yan, ating Baptist is about Bible School Institute. Bible Institute, it's a great blessing for us to be what? To become knowledgeable and to be what? Uh, uh, planted by the Word of God, especially the doctrine that we need today. So, napaka-importante po yan. Thank you so much, Pastor Darmir, Pastor Adona, for your heart, for the knowledge that you are uh, able to share with us through the Baptist Bible Institute. So, please, salat mo na mag uh, Join with us and there is a surprise, no? Iyanos po ng ating mahal na Pastor Adona in regards with our Baptist Institute. So, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat and please continue to pray uh, Pastor Adona for our anniversary this coming Sunday, Saturday, Sunday and for the speakers na mag-preach and of course, yung mga kapatid po natin na nakikinig po kayo at ating mahal na Pastor Darren Miller please continue to pray for him for the loss, I mean, for, uh, for the, also the great family uh, because Rama himself is uh, already promoted na nasa Panginoon. And this is all. Thank you so much my friend and my brethren. Salamat po sa inyo lahat. Goodbye and good night. Have a blessed uh, night for all of us. That was it all. Thank you so much. God bless. So, talking po natin ng doxology. May we call on uh, Brother Sherwin for the doxology.